Greetings everyone. Hello and welcome back to Manola, to the industry district of Manola, of course, as it stands right now in all its fumes and we continue onwards, continue building in this area. Some of you have been pointing out one thing. Now there is a power station here and yes, there is the power dam for Manola. However, it is a bit far away. One power station is actually pretty nifty as we can boost the whole industry zone for now. There is, of course, over here, the possibility of building that uh, dam foundation. However, we will need quite a few of our testers for that. 4,000 to be precise. So for that, I would need to massively build up Manola and continue with that. Of course, we can do this um, and get the power in or save some time and build a power station. We are completely capped with oil at the moment since we are also not really consuming that much oil in Panagos. Um, with that, I have two oil tankers right now that are actually overwhelmed with the amount of oil. So let's get back to, to Panagos and build us one more oil tanker. Three should do the trick then, as we are also going to boost the oil production in Manola, of course, further. But of course, uh, long term wise we're going with the dam, short term wise I was thinking about boosting my industry zone in Manola a bit. We'll see if we really need to do that though, at least we have the space reserved. We continue onwards, we have the wood veneer over here now in the marketing workshop coming out. That's beautiful. And with that we can now build two cigar factories finally. This is something that I've been waiting for, this is something that's going to push Panagos quite a bit. It's beautiful buildings by the way, right? According to them, we're still in 1800. We could also say 1805 tobacco since 1805. Yeah. Okay, we're 1805 by the looks of those shields. Uh, since 1815. Oh, this puts me in a bit of a pickle there. <laughs> so we are somewhere in 1815, 1820, I guess. Something like that on the timeline. With that, we have finally now the cigar production coming up. They're getting the resources that upgrade um, the warehouse. And of course... What we should still check is the tobacco now. So the first tobacco is already in. With that, we have some 300 tons. There's already the next one coming in again. Um, I might actually reduce this here to 100. We don't need that much tobacco, really. It's totally pointless. Um, and we are also continuing to export some coffee, even though, of course, that's way too much. The same goes with the logs, but at least we have that. And with that, also coffee here is on its way to the next export level rare. This is all nice, right? Um, we also prepared our first um, trade routes here now for the chocolate and the cigars. There is a ship on the way right now. There is already coming Terra 2 with the building materials. And Terra 2 will be then my cigar and chocolate trader. I think chocolate we already have amassed quite a bit, a thousand tons in here. That's great stuff. Um, this is then over for Panagos right away. Meanwhile, in Panagos, I would like to go ahead now with uh, something new, and that is what a lot of you have been probably waiting for, and that is, of course, our big shipyard. I still have those wooden ships in the region. Let's put them, uh, uh, get them over there a bit further, and yeah, have a look at my at my harbor area. Now, there is this, this thing here with the, the space between my towers, right? The reason why I'm doing this, or why I've done it, is because there's splash damage coming from the ship of the lines. Um, that is with broadside damage. They're firing in va in, in volleys, right, in, in in an arch into my into my area, and this means that several closer buildings are getting attacked at the same time. This is no longer the case now with steamships, as steamships are way more precise, and they just really shoot um, at one target. And with that, what we can do here is, at least that is my assumption now as well, we can put them all a bit closer together. And by having them all close together, we can, of course, as you probably guessed it, have more of them together at the same time. We can, yeah, we have more space, and we can basically go ahead and have more cannons. This is not looking good though here. So let's just push this out a bit into this area so that we still have it a bit parallel towards each other. There you go. This is a bit cleaner. And at the end of it, we have then one more tower here. And oh, and we're under attack again. So they're really not letting me off here, right? They're trying to get that siege up there as, as much as possible. So yeah, that's the, the Admiral. With that, unfortunately, I cannot build the advanced shipyard now. I wanted to. But we have the problem that I cannot move these buildings here again. At least the next oil tanker is out. So let's get this one on the trade route Silver Hope. Instead of Orion that got destroyed. Ah, and there it is. Terra, of course, is also now in Manola. It's a really big ship, that one. Let's get the building materials off board. 
and Terror is now going to be on my new trade route. We're probably going to add a second one here then as well, of course, for all the chocolate and cigars. As we can see, already getting full on the chocolate. The tobacco is still taking its time. Let's also quickly check out the tobacco. Now, I totally forgot one thing, and that is the artistas also consume tobacco. That is fine. I'm going to let them, right? So we're going to keep it at that. With that, we only have a, an equal production of cigars now, though. This is not something I would like to have. So um, we, we are going ahead, and I'm just checking here the wood veneer. Yes, we will also need to get this one up a bit more so let's build us some three more wood veneer factories or marketry workshops and some two more cigar factories here we're going to boost this up a bit more um there is then the option of changing it with the productivity however trade unit might also help and is the modded version here by the way we have the small gas power plant we got the power station the small oil power station i think the windmills are not here at the moment Nate's windmill, there it is, right? So this is also an option we could we could do. That is giving electricity in a very small radius. Would be would be something. Now, also, we are back at Eli. Mm, because I would like to continue boosting my swing machine factories a bit more. Alright, something else uh, at Isabel. We have another white flag. I think she's selling two in total, and with that we have now two ships with the white flag. That means I can have one in the new world and one in the old world permanently. Uh, which of course would be great for my stability overall, purchasing items and stuff like that. So actually let's keep the flagship there, Dulci Bella, and purchase some items from Isabella just in case we need them. While we're talking about new production, like the cigars, I would also like to continue with the next products that we need for my investors. So cigars are coming in, and next up would be steam carriages and champagne. Steam carriage is crazy. We get 150 extra coin per building and four investors on top of that. So this is quite the boost to my population overall. It's also one of the more complex productions that you want to have in the late game. Lucky us, we can make this process a bit simpler, because right now we do need steam motors and coaches or chassis uh, at the same time right and so what I can do is I can actually get rid of one of them entirely and that would be the steam motors we get Susanna already in my inventory as far as I know there she is and with that instead of steam motors the building process is filaments filaments is rather easy right I don't know how these steam carriages exist and coaches and filaments I guess it can work and with that we save a bit however of course it will raise my filament consumption which is already not that high anymore so it's a plus one uh, there we might need to fix something however we do save steam motors that is something once again that i like a lot because steam motors is something we're going to need for the elevators too so let's just check it out there real quick in my industry zone yeah space is getting a bit tight right we got the the motor assembly lines over there they're all working fine now this is not this is the one um, they are unboosted at the moment, right? They get some electricity, that's fine, but we are not doing anything else with them. So we can still increase the potential in the future with that. We have a surplus right now of four. All right, let's keep it like that. But I, it also tells me that we don't really need those buildings here for the moment at least, right? We got the window makers here. Those I would probably like to move first now. So let's get rid of the window makers and put them actually in one of my other industry zones. We have this one up here, right? This is something that, yeah, is, is quite a good location for it. Let's move one of these lumberjack huts a bit away. We actually have space in this area. That's perfect. And move them a bit further away. All seven of them. All seven of them into this area. That shouldn't be a big problem. Of course it is, because it's never easy moving something. And here we have a lot of things that block the area. That would be, for example, that road here, but also this tower there, the oil well. But after a bit of time, they're all here. Let's actually also upgrade the roads uh, The roads here. We have lots and lots of bricks right now. I would also like to move this warehouse further over and upgrade it two times right away. Very good. The siege is over too. That would be over here. Is there any ship close by right now? Yeah, there are. So once I build the, rebuild the sand mines, they're going to attack again. And I'm pretty sure by now we're out of sand. Yes. This is an ongoing issue. Um, getting the defense over there is possible, but it's going to be costly. We have lots of weapons, so we can totally do this, really. I can go ahead and just get me one of these 
flamethrowers over, right? So we, we could start protecting this area a bit more properly now. Because it's getting annoying there, um, having to rebuild it all the time. But back again to what matters, um, that is this area here. Now, let's upgrade those artisans, first and foremost. With that, we can get rid of that school here. It's been a bit annoying. Oh, there is another smaller attack coming in. Gives me always a bit of pleasure watching the defenses here rolling out. With their speed boosted, they're working again here, by the way. So we probably could build a few more land towers once more, too. Crazy how fast one of these is going down. So they're going to need a lot of them, right? And it wasn't even able to shoot or anything. However, of course, it upheld the siege status there. So I still cannot remodel there my harbor area. Um, let's actually also go here now. We do have the clockmakers. Do I have a trade union here already? Yes, we do have the trade union possible. And with that, we have the cab assembly line. Now, how many cabs do we actually need? One per minute right now. So we might go up to four per minute maximum, right? That I think is, is, is realistic. That means two of them I need. Lucky they only, or they are very fast in their production, right? So I don't, I don't need to boost them too hard there. So we need the clockmakers in here. Uh, we do need the electricity in here. Let's have a look. They're huge, really they are. And we need to make sure that we actually get them into this, into this area here. So let's just have a look. This one and that one. It's not looking great though. So let's move this one away a bit. I don't know why we have it like that. So I can have them both side by side because I think that would look much cleaner. And then we just need that road connection here that hopefully has complete electricity. Perfect. And both of them are in the trade union. Perfect. What we also still need is electricity here because for the cab assembly, for the coach makers, we can actually improve them. They're very slow, however, right? So it takes two minutes of them to build one of them. That means we need actually four coach makers for one cab assembly line leading to eight of them, which is an insane cost. We, all, we only need four of them though if we boost them with electricity. And that would be the whole production then. Let's just make sure that they have it. Perfect. All of them have electricity. That's how it's supposed to be. Let's actually move them one step further away. So we have a wall here. Oh, the potential of having a wall there then in the future. This is then a proper industry production. By the way, is there any... Uh, yeah, there's actually some road connection here that we might still kind of like also fill around with, I guess. So we probably should have one full road connection here to make it look realistic. With that, I think we can build all of this now. Mm, it's going to be costly. 220,000 only the coach makers cost me. And then those two here as well. 230,000. This is a very massive production. Let's also add Susanna now to the fray. So now we are only needing the filaments and the chassis. Now, problem here too is now we are actually consuming four filaments in addition per minute. We do need to boost that production up a bit. Up here we have them. They're not boosted in any way at the moment, which gives me some headroom, of course. But for now, I will probably need to add another one here. <laughs> and this one should also work out. Build two more here and then get me another... <laughs> no! It is close. It is so close. Let's get us another warehouse then in here. We do need some additional warehouses in the area. And I think this will... This will work a bit better. Really, right here at the cliffs. Might actually be a wall very realistic, just to block things off a bit. We could continue with the wall here, I think. Yep, that goes in here. This area I consider almost finished now. But there's not going to be any new buildings, I think at least. Right, something to block off those poor workers, otherwise they're going to collapse. Coal I should not worry about. It's all about the filaments, really, right? And now we have it equal again, which is not ideal in my opinion. So you usually need to have a bit of a surplus there. So I could go ahead and try to to work it out here with... Yeah, that's not going to happen. We do get additional unhappiness, and this is already too high. So let's get us two more in over there. It's really expensive, but it's fine. With that, we have the coaches coming in. Uh, let's actually pause them. Also, what I can see is the first batch of cigars is in. Very nice. However, it's not going to do that much yet. 
And there we have it in all their glory. It's really some fantastic looking factories there, really. Um, since we are having them, and this is mostly red bricks, I think also some red brick um, engineers close to them. Makes sense, right? Just so that we have something that fits the theme of a smaller industrial harbor area then that we can have. Ah, another one minute and 30 seconds. It's crazy. I cannot remodel my harbor area there at all. Now, there's still those artisans in here. Finally, we can also upgrade them. Go ahead and do this. I really don't want to have any artisans here in this area anymore. And these guys here. Fantastic. And these guys here. There is... Oh, there's still some artisans. And here. And with that, I think now they're all gone from this area. Is that right? With that, we can actually get rid of these three buildings here too. And add something in addition. We'll just see. Another bank is not really needed. But we'll find a uh, we'll find something for it. Alright, the siege is over. So we can happily continue with um, my, my little project here. So let's continue with having them a bit closer together. And while we're at that, I will probably also like to move more than to the other industry zone because we need sand and I, I just cannot have this production then imported with the Docklands as well. That's just not looking great. Uh, that's good. And with that, of course, we can squeeze in more towers than ever into the into the reach of one of these. And I think really this should be enough. All right. So I don't think we need any more defense than here really piling up. Even though, of course, I could be mistaken. Yeah, this row we are also making full. So that's these towers here that were blocking the, the ships already, right? Ah, uh, he's trying to put the siege on it again. Yeah. Really? With just one hit, we are under siege again. This is super annoying. There's not really much I can do about that. So this is a new tactic, really, that I haven't seen yet that are trying to uphold that siege status indefinitely. And he's, he's doing it again and again with just two ships moving in. Doing that. At least we were able to move a few of them around again. Um, it's all about that. We cannot rebuild here, right? So I will need to I will need to do something emergency wide. Right? Yeah, Tobias is coming in. We have enough sewing machines. So let's get us that sand fall because we are getting dangerously low on sand if we're not even out of it already. So let's just, yeah. With 150 tons, we get 3,000 tons of sand in. This is what I would like to see. And Tobias can do the job just fine. Um, the Mild Shrimp has returned with some more items that we can use for boosting. And the Mild Shrimp returns to N because we need some more Harbor Master items that I can use then for this side's defenses that we're going to need as well. And really, I would like to get rid of these towers here. It's looking ridiculous. Chips have a hard time getting in and out of my harbor. I just realized I have something else here that I can use my camp assembly lens. That is the steam engineer. Maintenance cost is reduced, but more importantly, extra good penny farthings every fifth production. Um, is that a lot? Let's just see where we are right now. Penny farthing wise, we are at plus one. So this is going negative soon. And let's use the steam engineer on those guys here. And this puts the penny farthings now to 13. So basically plus two then once this is activated. It's okay. It's a bit that we can add here that improves my situation a bit. With that, of course, all the items for the trade union have been used for all the slots. We already got some 20 tons of steam carriages in, so let's activate this for my investors and this will lead to a nice income boost. We're at 84k right now and I think this will probably push us beyond 100,000 there. Also more investors coming in now. Cigars still missing. Champagne would be the last good really and then we could push for skyscrapers which of course is still a bit away. For skyscrapers yeah we need another very important production that we could have a look at here right away and that is the elevators and the elevators is something that's actually pretty nice also for the docklands since you can produce them in very high quantities. They require electricity, they require a lot of things, most of all motor assembly line. Um, that means one assembly line will already consume all the four steam motor surpluses that we have right now activated already. So this is going to be a bit nasty. For this, however, I will need to do some things here again. Some changes are required, unfortunately, for this industry zone. We are going to make it less dirty. So first of all, we have still the glass makers down here. That I don't really require in this area. So we could 
push them down here or I could also just push them in one to my alternative uh, industry zones. More importantly though, I need a bit of space for additional cleaner productions and I think we're going to have a look at the steelworks here in the future, moving them around and stuff like that. So far so good, once again we need to wait for the siege to end and then we can continue here with more production and more city building hopefully. Stay tuned.